What's up, my immune friends? This is KG4E, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Miss Survival. And I gotta tell you guys, I'm really, really torn on what I want to do with these box traps. Um, on one hand, I kind of love them when they work. Uh, on the other hand, I don't know if they're gonna—I don't know if they're working. I've made two block box traps. One is completely broken, catching nothing, and the other one is doing very well. So I'm not really sure. I mean, it, I guess I'll make more. I mean, it's not like it takes a ton of resources to make them, but it's just, you know, I just hate wasting resources on something that I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, you know, went ahead and grabbed the rabbit. And uh, like I said, the one trap is catching stuff on a regular basis. The other trap is doing nothing. Um, also, also, we need to uh, harvest these. Apparently, these have been ready to be harvested for a while now. And I did not know that. So there you go. We harvested that. Let's get this stuff off the fire. And I just throw it on the ground. Wait, why is the fire out? Wait, did I not put any... I didn't put any fuel in the fire. Wait, how did that stuff cook if I didn't have any fuel in the fire? It's kind of weird. All right, whatever. Wait. There we go. Now that should... That should yeah, I just want to get that fat rendered. Okay. Uh, man, my inventory is a mess. But that's okay. What we're going to do now is... Oh my god, there's nowhere to put anything. I have too much loot. Um, anyway, yeah, with the box traps, I'm not really sure on how I want to handle them. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pick that up. Uh, but, you know, again, let me know, guys, are the box traps working in your game or not? I think I think maybe I'll hold off making another one for now. But I think I do kind of want to make another one um, sooner rather than later. I, I, I'm not really sure. Like I said, I, I've been so far ahead on my videos. I cannot stop playing this game. Like, I play it all the effing time. Like, all the time. And I can't stop. I'm freaking addicted. So I am so... I'm way too far ahead of my videos. <laughs> way too far ahead. That's why I haven't seen any of the freaking comments yet. Okay, so uh, tomatoes. I did some off-camera uh, science for tomatoes. Science! Right? Tomatoes have 15 kilograms. Corn has 35 kilograms. Now that would say to me, tomatoes will give about half as much fullness as corn. Maybe a little bit less than half. Corn should be a little bit more than double the tomatoes. I did some tests. The corn is like four times the fullness of the tomatoes. You eat tomato, you have to eat like four tomatoes to get what you get from one piece of corn, roughly. Okay? Um, but I think the tomatoes are okay because I don't know if I want to mess around with corn to be honest anymore because of the stupid watering problems. Uh, you know, maybe I'll try it again, like once he's fixed it or maybe he's already fixed it and it's just not working in my game because I haven't restarted. We talked about that last episode, but right now watering the crops for corn is not really working for me. Okay. And until that is remedied, I think I'm just going to stick with, I think I'm just going to stick with tomatoes and the tomatoes um, themselves are not really worth that much. But the thing with the tomatoes is if I can get those box traps to work, the tomatoes can bait the box traps and I'll be good to go for food. If the box traps, you know, continue not working or maybe like they stop working completely, then I don't know. I guess we're back to hunting bear, which, you know, isn't too bad. I, I kind of like killing Yogi over and over. All right. I was cooking baked potatoes and I accidentally burnt them, which kind of sucks. But can they still go bad when they're burnt? I wonder. I wonder if burning. I wonder if burning something could be a way for you to permanent, per, permanently preserve something. I don't know. Whatever. If they go bad, they go bad. It wasn't a big deal. It's just a, you know the baked potatoes cook really quickly. Like I put in a baked potato and then I ate a baked potato and then the one I put in was burnt by the time I finished eating the first. So, you know, what are you gonna do? All right, let's put those down there. We're gonna need some more matches out here as well, which will be fine. Um, I think the next thing we want to do is go ahead and grab these, and then we're gonna turn all these into seeds and just start plant these like a madman. Um, how many did I get? Four. Okay. All right. Fair enough. It seems like you get a lot, man. What was that like ten total or something? You do get a lot of the. Um, you do get a lot of uh, tomatoes though, so that's pretty nice. So we're gonna we're gonna have like plenty to like fill up that nine slot thing unless you only get one unit per i'm actually going to turn all these into seeds anyway so it doesn't even matter if i only get one unit per i don't know how it decides when you get one unit when you get more i think maybe you only get more with corn maybe tomatoes are always just oh zero units really it's kind of weird i guess i might as well just eat it then right can i get sick from it whoa that ge that looks like it gave me more oh no that was thirst okay i was looking at thirst i was thinking they give you a lot of thirst but thirst is not really a problem it's not the thirst is not something I'm really looking at, you know, like needing a lot of. Really? Zero? What the hell? I wonder if the ones that fell on the ground are giving me zero for... No, nope, I guess not. I'm not really sure why these are giving me zero. A little bit of a bummer, but I guess we could just eat those. No, oh, we only ended up with five seeds out of that one, which, you know, I mean, considering it was only two plants, I guess it's not really that big of a deal. You do get a lot of... Uh, oh, I didn't see that one. You do get a lot of tomatoes per harvest, so I guess that's the, um, the trade-off. There we go. So we came out with six seeds. 
Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. All right, so let's put that down there and let's plant all these. Now, is this one working? Maybe we shouldn't plant them all in this one because we don't know if this one's working, right? Put the freaking shield away, please. Put the shield away. Number five. Number four. There we go. All right, so we're going to plant... We're going to plant a couple up there. Uh, actually, until I find out if that's working, I'm going to plant more of them up here. I know this one works, right? We don't really know that about the other one. Ah, stupid leaf. All right, I'll grab that off camera. Um, so let's go ahead and water those, and then we're going to get on with this episode. What is this episode going to be about? Oh, yeah. This episode is going to be about getting rid of barrels and, you know, getting a generator made out here. I think I'm going to put a generator up in that attic right there, and I want to start, you know, doing lights around here. I really hate the fact that the generators don't really cover that big of an area because, like, you know, having to make more generators, like, is just kind of annoying. It really is just kind of, like, I don't know. It's it's inelegant, inelegant. You know, and I don't like it, and it's just uh, it's just annoying. Where the hell was I going? Oh, I got a big potato here. We should probably eat that. No, we don't really need it just yet. And uh, we still got 20.6% left on it. All right, guys, these uh, these furrows are just, you know, just kind of... <laughs> I don't know, they're not right. This one looks fine. That's nice and watered. That's nice and watered. We know this one works. And this one looks like it's going to be good, too. It's just these furrows, man. Grown corn is... It uh, doesn't look like it's going to be really that, you know... Maybe some, it does not look like we're something we're going to want to be doing. Okay, let's go ahead and make a generator. We can always move the generator, so let's stop Let's stop messing around, and let's just go ahead and make one. Now, someone said if you do this right, you only need one gear. I don't know what they were talking about. Um, I'm pretty sure putting one gear into this isn't going to work. Uh, but eh, you never know. I've, I've been known to be wrong before. Um, and we're going to have to go for a, a car hunt as well. Uh, maybe we'll do a looting video coming up. Maybe, maybe next video? I'm not really sure. I was thinking about doing a wall. These are the easier ones to craft, but we're starting to get low on them. So I don't really... I, I, I don't think I want to craft them, to be honest. Um, yeah, I don't, know, I don't know which one to cook. I think we'll cook a few, a few of each, uh, if we have to. Uh, like I said, someone said you only need one gear, but I don't, I don't know how that's possible. Anyway, yeah, I think we're going to be doing a looting video. Also, guys, if you tell me, like, loot that's out there, and then I go to that place and there's no loot, just know that, like, the game's kind of... You know, it's being funny, especially with someone like me who hasn't restarted. Or maybe I'm just missing loot. That could be the case, too. Wouldn't surprise me one bit. I mean, would that surprise any of us that I'm missing loot? I mean, you know. I mean, let's face it. It'd be more surprising if I found every piece of loot, right? If I knew where every piece of loot was, people would be like, what the hell's going on, man? KJ didn't miss any loot today. I don't know. Is this Bizarro World? Is this Bizarro KJ48 that never misses loot, never makes a mistake, and never causes uh, infected survivors? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. By the way, did I call you guys infected survivors last episode? <laughs> I don't know. I'm probably going to listen to it. Just cause I'm, I'm kind of curious. I don't think I did. Infected survivors. Why would I call you that? It's immune. It's not even infected survivors. They're immune survivors. Cage It's immune friends. Infected friends. Infected friends is a pretty cool term, though. I'm not going to lie. That's, that's pretty neat. Uh, let's go ahead and save the game. And... One gear. Yeah, I don't know. Someone was saying you, you don't need more than one gear, but I really don't know what they were talking about. Um, so I'm going to go make some more gears. I've seen better days. Boy, food poisoning, dehydrated, running through the dark. You guys can't see crap. Um, I don't know where I'm going. I can't see a damn thing. This flashlight sucks. Am I at home? Yeah, I think I'm at home. Doorway's over here. Let's get inside before we get some freaking infected chewing our face off also i don't really remember where my pills are i think they're up top but i could be wrong about that and eh, whatever we'll sleep it off sleep it off cage all right let's see if we got some pills up here pills here oh we do have some pills okay so antibiotics what we want split one you might be wondering where we got the um food poisoning from uh we got the food poisoning from eating a raw tomato so, there you go. If you eat anything raw in this game, you pretty much get food poisoning. It's like it's like 100%. Um, food poisoning, not hygienic food. Yeah, well, it wasn't cooked. Uh, there we go, and there we go. Beautiful. All right, we still got the food poisoning, but because it's treated... Um, I slept through the night, and because, it's, it, because it was treated, uh, it's pretty much done. By the way, if you have a hurt leg, a cut... Like anything, anything that's on the right hand side of that screen that is hurting your character, food poisoning, don't log off. Uh, like right now, if I logged off the game, like if I saved, logged off, and then logged back on, this uh, food poisoning healing would start from the very beginning. So do yourself a favor and don't do that. All right, so there we go with our generator. 
generator. All right, so let's see how far this generator can reach because I'm kind of curious. I'd like to maybe even move this over a little bit. Um, T. All right, so we could probably move that over this way a little bit and still re What do we have over here that's going to need electricity? I think the last thing that's going to need electricity is probably something in here. So we could definitely move this generator over a little bit. I'm going to try and like have these generators get as much of the area as possible. So let's do that. Um, I, I like what he did with the generator as far as it like showing like the area it can cover. But I think it needs to be a little bit like maybe more permanent. Like it stays on until you turn it off. All right. See, because by the time I got over here, I couldn't really see, you know, how far it goes. Although I don't think it goes that I don't think it goes far enough. So that's going to... Yeah, yeah, that it doesn't go into the building. Okay, so we need to move it this way a little bit more. Probably right about here would work. Yeah, that'll probably work. Yeah, uh, just have that, like, little ray thing that shows where the uh, generator is. Have it permanent. Like, don't... Like, don't have that turn off unless we turn it off by ourselves. Okay, so there we go. That's in a good spot. It'll reach over there as far as I need it to. Let's see how far it'll go over here. Okay, so... All right, so it goes to about here. So I think the other generator, we could, I mean, honestly, the other generator, we could probably put it about here. And it might, like, with two generators, it might be able to cover most of the area. Um, but again, these generators need, like, that whole, what's it called? The whole electrical enable range needs to be on until it turned off. I mean, it's a good start to a system. I do like it. But it just needs a little bit more. All right, so I'm thinking this one will go right here, I guess. And that will reach over to here, but not on that side. It's not going to reach over to this part. So I think it needs to come over that way a little bit more. Uh, so do we want to put it next to that place, or what do you think? Um, maybe, like, maybe like right there? Yeah, that might be a good spot for it. How far is that coming over? Uh, so that comes over to here. It does not hit the wall. It's not a bad spot for it for now. I guess that's a pretty good spot for now. Okay, so now we need to make some more lights. So do I like floodlights? I don't freaking know. Let's get some floodlights out here before it gets too light out. Because you can't really tell what's going on unless it's um, unless it's dark. Although I could probably just, you know, pass time till the night. But, yeah, let's take out the floodlights. And where would be the first... Okay, you know what we need to do before we do anything with the floodlights? Is turn these on. Because these are the beginning parts. Uh, do you, can you move that now? This is the this is the beginning of the lights. So, so that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, we need something in here. Let's get rid of these stupid barrels. The barrels were a good idea. Um, you know, okay, I know how to fix the barrels. Okay, you got you want me to use the barrels? I'll use the barrels. Let me des let me designate survivors to keeping the barrels full. Like, I should be able to take, like, um, Rachel and say, use this storage container, anything that's in this storage container, to fill this up. And then what I could do is I could put starter, tinder, and accelerant, and wood, all in the same storage container, and then she'll keep it full. If, if I have to keep these barrels full, no. That's not, that's not going to work for me. Um, so hopefully that'll be in a future update, but for now... These are kind of uh, not really going to... They're not going to do it. They are not going to do it. Okay, so I don't want flood... I don't really think I need floodlights in here, though. Um, but I really don't know. Um, let's just put a floodlight up here and see what it does. Just kind of curious. Uh, turn on. Why is that not getting light? Because the generator's not on. Duh, Cage. Duh, bro. Duh, bro. Uh, turn on. There we go. And this is turned on, right? Turn on. There we go. Um, eh, it's all right. It's all right. Are these on? Yeah, these are on. So that should probably floodlight into the corner. Problem with the floodlights is they 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 light up. The floodlights will light up the area it's pointing at, but then the area right next to the floodlights always really dark. So they're never really good enough by themselves. Uh, about right here. How's that? That's not bad. Um, actually, I think I think I like it better right there. Yeah, yeah, that's that's better. Okay, let's um, kind of turn around to the left. 
Okay. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. The problem is the floodlight area. I don't like it in front of the door either. Yeah, I really don't like it in front of the door. All right, so how about right here? Come on, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's a good spot for it. Is that gonna... Yeah, yeah, there we go. All right, I like that. I like that a lot. All right, so let's grab... See, I don't really want to take oh, take the lights out of here. We just make more lights, right? I mean, we've got that. We've got. We need to make more lights. Let's just make more lights. The only thing is, I don't know what I want. Do I want floodlights? Do I want the other lights? I think I want a little bit of both, because this floodlight is is lighting up a pretty big area, you know. So I think both the floodlights and the other standing lights are both going to be good. But I don't think a floodlight would really help much up here. Although I guess if I had a floodlight over here pointing up there, that might work. Yeah, let's try that. Let's try that. Uh, yeah, we're going to definitely take out some of the floodlights from in here. I know what you're saying. Just use cars. I get it. I get it. And I will. But, I don't know. I like to do this as well. It's fun. Okay. Looks pretty good. We're not really going to know until it's nighttime, though. See, this is exactly why I started these cabins. Um, so I could pass to the night. You know, uh, doing something useful. Instead of just, like, sleeping through the night. Um, the only thing I'm worried about this, though, is... Uh, I'm worried about the infected. They have been a punk-ass bunch of jerks um, during the nights. But, you know, um, I got to do this during the night. I mean, this is the time that I need to, uh, you know, test the lights. I can't test the lights during the day. It doesn't work. Um, see, that's pretty dark, right? So should I move it up? Like, does it need to be closer to the area I'm trying to light up? Or... Yeah, it's definitely better. I just don't like it there, though. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't like it being in the way of anything. Uh, I think this wouldn't be a bad spot for it. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. The problem is now we have, um, we're going to have issues with the, uh, the shadows. So maybe like over here? It's not quite getting the corner. Yeah, it's not bad. Oh yeah, alright, I like that. That's, I think that's about the best we're going to get in that corner. Man, this is going to be tough. It's going to be tough. It's just a, it's a large area to light up, you know? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? All right, so do we want over here pointing that way? How does that work? Uh, turn on. Nope, turn on. F. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to need any pointing this way because I'm going to use these lights up there. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's just make some right now. Save the game. Uh, what about inside? How do I want to deal with the lights on the inside? Um, let me take a look. Uh, I could make... Wait, where are the other lights? Oh, that's right. Don't you make those in the workbench? Yeah, don't you make lights in the workbench? Yes, you do. Um, do I want to make some... I'm going to make the wall lights. I wasn't originally because electronic parts was a big deal. But I don't think it's going to be as a big deal as I, as I once thought. Hmm... I feel like I'm hearing infected. No, that's a generator, so. All right, I got some uh, bottles in here somewhere. Where are my bottles? There they are. Yeah, let's make one of those wall lights and see how good they are. Um, I kind of want to make the these like standing wood lights for the inside. I think it would probably be like better light source, but it won't look as good. So, you know, we're going to try both. We're going to try both. I'll just farm you know, the infected and get some more electronic parts. It's not really a big deal. Ten minutes. See how this goes. All right. Come on, come on. I don't have all day. Okay. Right there. Number four. Stop opening the door. And let's turn this off. Oh, I kind of like it in the wood. Oh, actually, that gives a pretty good amount of light. What's up, Rachel? What are you doing? Am I in your way? I think I'm in her way. Your hair looks weird. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, can I get one of those standing light things inside? Let's see if we can get one of these inside. I gotta tell you guys, I keep thinking I'm hearing infected. It's starting to freak me out. Can I get one of these inside? Eh, no, I don't think I can. Or if I can, it's like, it's tough. Come on. Come on. There you go. You're almost in. Uh, I 
All right, I couldn't get it. I couldn't get the damn thing in here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and build one in here. And if I don't like it, I'll take it apart. Hopefully, I get everything back for it. We're gonna need some more components. By the way, I put the other light here, and that looks fantastic. That looks fantastic. And um, thankfully, the infected has not been an issue at the moment. Although I probably shouldn't say that. Um, I don't think the infected should be spawning inside this. Uh, barn but i know they will and i'm like completely out of like components and stuff i'm gonna stream this this friday um what, what is today ah uh, you guys won't see this video by then damn it well, i'm gonna stream it this friday sorry sorry i didn't give you a fair warning but yeah because i gotta do some uh, i gotta do a lot of a lot of farming a lot of farming all right so there we go i think this is gonna be too far away from the generator yes it is okay so what we'll do is we'll, we'll bring it over here and we'll put it right next to this one and then we'll turn off the wall light and turn this one on see which one gives us the most the most bang for our buck why can't i put this over there come on see i might not want to deal with these just because they're annoying to move around oh there we go okay uh you know what they're probably about the same no the wooden the wooden one gives more this this uh this gives more not by much, but actually by a pretty good amount. What do you guys think? I think the, um, I want to call it by its proper name. I think the lantern post light gives more than the wall light. All right. Even though the lantern post light does give more, I'm not going to use it uh, inside. First of all, it's buggy as hell. The thing just glitched straight through the wall. Second of all, second of all, and more importantly, this is what's really important. The lantern post takes four components they both take one electronical part i don't give a crap about wood components okay that's where it's at and these only take two components i can make two wall lights which two low lights two wall lights will definitely give more will give you more um more light than one lantern post light uh and and that like components are the big issue so i you know what these are better can i put that there please damn it it's out of range we gotta get that other generator going. All right, let's uh, let's put this over here. Come on, come on. The one thing I wanted more than anything else is lights in here, and this is like the last the last place I'm putting lights in. Uh, now, do I want the lights on the outside or the inside? I want them on the inside. So this should go just like this, right? Looks pretty good to me. And it's out of range. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we gotta get that other generator up. Let's uh, find some biofuel and get that other generator going. Come on. Come on. Grab it, you fool. Damn, bro. I don't know why we're keeping all my biofuel. By the way, I'm just asking to get killed out here. Alright, we turn that on. And that gives this bad boy light. Yep, okay. Still not a ton of light over here. Um, I think we're going to need at least one more. Maybe two more in here. You know? Uh, but that's all right. That's all right. We'll get it done. We'll get it done. Let's come on up here and turn this one on. There we go. All right. All right. Oh, cool. My light was off. I thought my light was on. There was so much light in here. My personal light. All right. So number four. And I think we'll put this one right here. There we go. All right. All right. Cool. I think one more in here will probably be pretty good. Maybe two more. Let's see if we can move this one over. Uh. Pick up. Oh, yeah, you don't move these. You pick them up. Very different from everything else in the game. All right, something in one leg right here. Yeah, yeah, that's better. Yes. Yes. And then one right here. And I don't have what I need for the last one, but that's okay. It's not really... It's not really something I'm concerned about. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and save. And then we're going to make... Um, I think we're going to make two more of those lantern pole lights. And then see... I what I really want to do is... My ultimate goal today was to light up the... Um, the place where I farm the infected. Uh, that's what I really, really wanted to do. Um, so I could farm during the night uh, and show it without worrying about making dark videos. I know this has been a, probably been a dark video. I hope you guys, hope you guys haven't been watching on your um, on your cell phones. I, I apologize. It will not happen often. Um, the lights in this game. I think he needs to turn up what the lights do in the darkness by like ten to twenty five percent. Maybe something in there because you know you've really got to put down like what I think is way too many lights. Like, way too many lights. Alright, so one of those, and one of those. There's no way we could possibly make too many of these lantern post lights, because these things are going to have to be all over the damn place. 
And let's go ahead and eat this. And then we'll drink, put these down, and we'll be able to farm, uh, farm during the night. Which we're going to have to do because we're getting low on electronic parts. Although not as low as I thought. You know? So that's pretty sweet. Okay. And then uh, I'm thinking one right here. Kind of where I put the barrels, right? No, that's not on the ground. Is it on the ground? That is on the ground. I, I don't like where it, I don't like it where it is. There we go. Okay. And then I think the other one can go maybe in a corner. See, I don't know. I think that should be able to go in the corner. There we go. Kind of angle it like that. All right. And then we're obviously going to have to put this one in the other corner. Although, yeah. Let's put that in the other corner and see how, see how that works. Okay. And we will put that right there. Come on. No, nope, not there. It's kind of hard to judge the distance with these things. There we go, right there. Come on. Work with me, please. Uh, move it. Why can't I move it? And angle like that. All right. All right, I kind of like that. Yeah, it's a little bit dark over here, but I think overall, pretty pretty nice. I don't know. I think that's going to work. Guys, if you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.